the Burndy Copper Terminal Installation Training Video. Topics we will discuss, compression terminal selection, wire stripping, wire insertion, U-die selection, crimping technique, including number of crimps, crimp placement and crimping sequence, inspection. Chapter 1, Proper Connector Selection. Proper terminal selection is determined by the wire being terminated and the mounting requirements for the application. In this video, we are only focused on the wire termination portion of the terminal. Identify the wire material, copper or aluminum, as this will determine the connector product line to be used to terminate the wire. Wire types include copper solid wire, copper class B or C building wire, copper high strand count flexible wire classes G, H, I, K, M or DLO and aluminum class B building wire. Wire size or gauge will determine the physical wire size designation. Once the wire is identified, you can select the appropriate connector. This video will depict an installation using both a standard and long barrel terminal. For this video, we have selected a copper class B 4 aught AWG gauge wire. Installers can verify the proper connector by matching the wire size on the wire insulation to the connector barrel ink marking and or the info embossed on the terminal pad. Burndy code lugs accommodate both Class B and C wire stranding and have solid color code bands with knockout lettering. Chapter 2. Proper Wire Stripping Wire insulation stripping is required for proper wire insertion into the connector. Proper wire stripping ensures full contact at each crimp with the wire for optimal electrical and mechanical performance. Installers can find the wire strip length for the selected connector in the Burndy Master Catalog sales drawing, or product label. If wire strip length is too long, it will expose bare wire between the barrel end and the insulation. While this does not pose a problem from an electrical or mechanical standpoint, it is not a recommended practice as exposed wires can pose a safety hazard. Wire that is exposed can be covered using Burndy heat or cold shrink products. If wire strip length is too short, it will prevent the wire from fully inserting into the connector barrel, preventing full crimps on the wire that could affect the integrity of the connection. When the strip length is properly sized, it ensures that no excess bare wire is exposed and the wire is fully inserted into the connector allowing for full crimps on the wire, resulting in a safe and reliable connection. When stripping the insulation, be careful to avoid cutting or nicking wire strands as damaged strands can affect the integrity of the connection both from an electrical and mechanical standpoint. Chapter 3. Proper Wire Insertion Before making a connection, verify proper wire strip length. Hold the wire against the connector barrel so the stripped insulation is butting the barrel end. Visually verify the bare wire extends beyond the crimp zone as this ensures that the wire will be fully inserted into the barrel and will make full contact with the wire when crimped. Chapter 4. Proper U-Die Selection The die set will depend on the installation tool being used. For this installation, we are using the 12-ton 750 series battery-actuated Patriot T3 tool which requires U-Dies. When selecting the proper die set, installers can verify the die with the connector by using the unique Burndy Die Index numbering system and color code. Die index number 15 and purple color code for this installation indicates the following information that can be verified before installation. Wire material is copper. Wire type is Class B. Wire size is 4 aught AWG. Color code is purple. Connector family is YA28. Chapter 5. Proper Crimping Technique Inserting Dies into the Installation Tool for the top die half, press the die release button at the top of the tool head. Slide the die half inside the tool head groove until it is centered. Release the die button and wiggle the die to ensure it is properly seated. For the ram or bottom die half, press the die release button on the side of the ram. Slide the die half inside the tool head groove until it is centered. Release the die button and wiggle the die to ensure it is properly seated. Once both die halves are properly seated in the tool head, you are ready for crimping. Installation process. Once the number of crimps, crimp location, and crimping sequence has been determined, you can begin the installation. Burndy installation manuals and the Burndy Connect app provide you with the number of crimps, crimp location, crimping sequence, and crimping diagrams. 
To get the Burndy installation instruction manuals or the free Burndy Connect mobile app, go to the Resources tab on the Burndy website. To demonstrate proper crimping technique, we will be crimping both a standard and long barrel terminal. We are going to show the crimping procedure for a standard barrel terminal. For this installation, the connector requires one crimp. Place the connector against the top die half with the bottom of the terminal pad facing the lower die half. The top die is stationary during tool activation, allowing the installer to maintain proper connector alignment during crimping. Align the connector crimp zone to be centered with the middle of the top die. Begin the tool's crimping cycle. Tool indicates a full cycle has been completed when an audible pop sound is heard. Some tools also depict a green indicator light as a secondary indicator of a completed crimp. A red light would indicate an incomplete crimp. You can verify that a proper installation has been made by the presence of the correct die embossment on the connector falling within the crimp zones. Long Barrel Terminals We are going to show the crimping procedure for a long barrel terminal. For this installation, the connector requires two crimps. Place the connector against the top die half with the bottom of the terminal pad facing the lower die half. The top die is stationary during tool activation, allowing the installer to maintain proper connector alignment during crimping. Align the first crimp closest to the terminal pad with the center of the crimp die between the first and second crimp bands as shown in the illustration. Begin the tool's crimping cycle. Tool indicates a full cycle as completed when an audible pop sound is heard. Once the first crimp is complete, retract the tool ram and align the second crimp closest to the wire end with the center of the crimp die between the third and fourth crimp bands, as shown in the illustration. Once you have finished your two crimps, the installation is complete. You can verify that a proper installation has been made by the presence of the correct die embossment on the connector falling within the crimp zones. The crimping orientation during an installation on a seamless compression terminal is not critical from an electrical or mechanical performance perspective. However, crimping in the orientation recommended provides a uniform and clean-looking connection. Crimping contrary to Burndy's recommendations may cause flash to extrude vertically on the terminal, which could prevent the connector from sitting flush on mounting surfaces. Chapter 6. Proper Inspection Inspectors can validate proper terminal installation with the use of U-dies visually and physically. Visual Inspection Inspectors can visually see the die index number embossed on each crimp of the connection. Die index embossments provide the inspectors with wire material, in this example, copper, wire type, in this example, class B, wire size, in this example, 4 aught AWG, Die index number on the embossment matches with the markings on the terminal, in this case 15. Color code, in this case purple. Connector family, in this example YA28 as indicated on the terminal markings. Inspection with physical measurement tools. Physical inspection of a crimp can be done with the use of the wire mic CI or calipers. Wire mic CI can be used as a U-die post crimp measurement tool. Place the wire mic on the crimp, read the die catalog number indicated on the tool, and verify that die catalog number with the die used based on the die index number and color code. The Burndy Connect app provides the post crimp dimension range. Place calipers on the crimp and verify the readings fall within the proper post crimp dimensions. This concludes the Copper Code Terminal Installation Training Video.